Happy Saturday, everybody. This is a pick a card reading for today, April 29th. Saturday, you pick a card. It's your main energy. You've got to do pull them all together. And if you're born today, April 29th, I'll do a reading for you next. If you pick card number one, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Good. It's a new beginning. There's growth. Um, maybe there's some, some opportunity today. For some of you, you are making progress in a goal or whatever situation today. Now, I do feel that there could be an offer, a valuable offer or a solid offer of help or love to you today too. Even though you're kind of um, sad or you are maybe thinking negatively about something as well. So I do feel that, okay? For some of you, it's like kind of getting out of that um, um, kind of like sad mode <laughs> um, because maybe, um, you know, it's, it's I want to say it's just, you could be overthinking things or you're bringing your own energy down, but there is some good energy here and it could be connected to love too. So I do pick up that energy. If you pick card number two, you have the 10 of swords. Yikes. Okay. 10 of swords here. Well, I want to say anything that you think is a disappointment or something that you um, feel has been stressing you out. Let's put it that way. Or just say a door shut. Something didn't go through. You got new opportunities opening up, okay? Something is a blessing in disguise as well. This is a day where I want to say don't focus on the things that have gone wrong. This is starting again. It's a refresh energy. I actually see a nice celebration. Um, there could be people that gossip around you too, but I still feel that things are going to work out in your favor, meaning you're going to... Um, just say someone says something bad about you, maybe you don't know about it or you hear about it, It's uh, no one's going to believe it. That's what I'm seeing. I still see a turn of events. This could be a, a lucky surprise. Like I said, there's a blessing here. I see good luck, um, good karma coming your way. There is a new cycle here. It's a turning point. There's a change. All right? Yeah, you had the ups and downs, but guess what? Um, things turn around for you. I do see that energy, Okay. All right, card number three is the Seven of Swords. Ooh, okay. This usually is deception and something not right around you. So I want to, I, I do feel that energy. There could be a man. I don't know why I'm picking up a man that could be deceiving you today. This person is not telling you everything. This person is um, lying um, or even spying on you. Some reason I feel that for some small amount or somebody out there who picked this card. Be careful of authority. This could be that you're being surveillanced or um, you're being watched, okay? So I do feel that energy as well. Um, so yeah, definitely seeing that. Now, I do feel that this could be something that occurred from um, a few months ago, okay, is uh, back again. I don't know. There's like a, a back um, energy. Uh, this is a time to take your power back too and make sure that you kind of um, pay attention to your surroundings is what I'm picking up, Okay. All right, so what we do see here today, there's going to be expect the unexpected. There is a turn of events. I do see that in a big shift of energy, and there's a healing energy. Um, then I do see um, another, I mean, it's a double, double energies here. Some of us could get into an explosive argument, so pick and choose your battles clearly. Um, um, I do see there's a breakthrough for some of us. Something may come through, a secret reveal. Something is like a breakthrough. There is going to be more clarity and something. It's like a whole change. All right. Um, I do feel that there could be a female around who is um, exaggerating, playing victim and um, can be a gossiper. So I'd be careful of that, too. But we are coming to some kind of relief and feeling more confident. So I do feel that energy. Um, I just want to say that there is an energy here of betrayal and deception um, someone trying to get away with something. So be careful of that. Not everything that, um, glitters is gold is what I'm feeling here. So we need to act very strategically and be careful of trickery too. So I do feel that energy because there's something here that's either a myth, gossip or secrets. Um, so we need to kind of regain our own control and just be smart about, um, people or situations around us. Okay. So I do feel that energy as well. Okay. That is the reading for today, um, April 29th, Saturday. Have a fabulous Saturday. Happy birthday if you're born today, April 29th. This is a quick and general reading. This is your solar, your theme. 
And this is your wish card. Wow, double sevens here today. I mean, we're the general and the birthday. Interesting. All right, so this is a year of a lot of you are going to be very business focused or dealing with important documents. Some of you will be doing a lot of research and and and, and analysis. Um, this is scientific for some I'm picking up. For others, this can be also, there is that warning of being careful of theft. Um, this is theft or um, plagiarism and deceit or betrayal in some area in your life, Okay. Um, for some of you, this is like also a lot of um, hidden knowledge that you're going to um, pick up this year too and learn about. So there's a learning experience here as well. I do feel that travel, be careful with travel um, or online. No, it's more online. Um, if you're on, on, uh, like someone wants to steal your identity or there could be people fishing, um, um, misrepresenting themselves. So online activity is something to be careful of as well. Um, I do see there's some deception there. I do see even with travel, there could be some kind of deception or be careful of not losing things or forgetting things. But there is some good um, um, news and messages coming through this year. Travel is indicated too. Um, I do feel that there's a situation that you're bored with. There's going to be a change. There's something in the works for you that you do not see with the universe. Um, counting your blessings is also going to be very important. You've got some important endings coming up in a final closure. Um, new money is going to be coming in as well. I see luck. Somehow luck gets you through. There's abundant energy, decisions to make, um, major big changes. And this is um, sometimes loneliness or feeling lonely when you're surrounded by others. Now, I do feel too that, that this is a year of uh, your concentrator on wealth or um, business, um, taking the leadership um, position for some of you. Um, this is forming more security in your life. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo is what I'm picking up as well. More Being more disciplined, abundance is coming into your life and more prosperity and generosity. But be careful who you're generous with. So I do feel that energy. And I do feel this is a great year for business, career focus, and um, a great business deal. All right. And your wish for your solar year is the Ace of Wands. For some of you, this wish is coming through now. Okay, or the springtime of next year is what I'm picking up. But for others, this is um, it takes a little bit slow and steady wins the race is what I'm feeling. So it's basically a strong yes for most of you. Important numbers for your solar year. Uh, four, eight, seven, one, uh, nine, thirty one, thirty nine, forty three. 36. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond. Everyone else, a fabulous Saturday and bye for now.